Hey everyone, beautiful morning out here. Hayfield is uh, almost ready for the first cutting. So we're heading out to the barn today and we're gonna get the Ford 515 sickle bar, hooked up with the tractor, and we're gonna go over how to get that all greased up and field ready for the spring. for mowing some hay in the next few days um it's pretty much been sitting since last season i shouldn't say pretty much it's been sitting since last season and what we're going to do here today is show where all the grease points are on various spots word of caution when you're moving these sickle bars around just never put your fingers down into any any area between the cutter tooth and the Never put your finger down here next to the cutter tooth, even with it disconnected, not even hooked up to the PTO shaft with me folding it down. It's just not worth risking, um, you know, just something all it takes is that pulley to turn or something in the gearbox to turn, roll box, and there goes your finger. So you always see if ever any of the videos when I'm moving this bar around, I'm always grabbing it on the back, grabbing it on the end. Just, yeah, just, just don't do that. First up, grease points for your linkage. One grease fitting here, does that arm. Buried down here, you have a couple more. You have this fitting here for your raised lower arm and then kind of buried here. This one's a little hidden underneath your lift arm. Got another one to, to cover again the, the rotation of the, uh, the break back action. Okay, and your last linkage um, grease fittings are going to be um, on either side of this horseshoe for lifting the arm up and down. One of up here near the shoe. The other one all the way buried all the way on the back side right here okay next up are our pto fittings and the pulleys and then down to the wobble box okay so for the pto and pretty much anything that's moving at higher speed i like to use that red tacky grease um i use just the lighter um molly grease for any sort of linkages and stuff that i really sometimes don't even want to add extra tackiness but okay so you have tractor side um pto u joint have a grease fitting in that U joint, matching one on the other end here. You got to get, and then for the drive pulley, this one's just in this cast housing right here. And then coming down here, here's where you might have something different on yours. Um, so for my setup for my my pulleys down here, this one has a grease fitting buried in there. I think this was a maybe a sealed bearing at one point um either way has that fitting in there now and then this at least for me this this sheath down here just place that last year that is a sealed bearing you might not have a sealed bearing you might have a grease fitting on yours that you need to get to now down to the wobble box but for grease fittings you, know, you have this one right here on the very top and you have another one that i missed for a while because it's buried in grass but it is buried down here next to the shoe. Well, I just popped out that plug and shot some grease in there. I put about 10 pumps of grease into the top. We got 10 in there. Um, that's... All right, last couple items. Um, belt tension. This one's pretty good like that i'm sure there's a proper setting it's super easy to adjust um you have a single adjusting bolt here and then you can loosen up these two that's in the back um so you can slide it uh yeah it's got some slots up in the front carriage bolt straight through you got a bunch of gross adjustment settings with those big um big holes there in case you have different size sheaves in there super easy to do that for the telescoping PTO shaft, I just, um, I don't put grease on them to get too full of grit and dirt, um, grass, whatever. I just use, um, you know, the Walmart equivalent of WD-40 
and just spray, spray that. Yeah, I'm fixing tractor. Hi, Dad. Let's go cut hay. We're gonna cut some hay later? Yeah. I like that spinner, Daddy. You like that spinner? I like that harder. Yeah, so I just spray that down. And then lastly, yeah, I'm fixing the sickle bar. And then lastly, um, these teeth, or cutter sections, um, I'll spray them down, but I'm actually going to pull this out and replace a couple of those teeth, so I'm not going to get it covered in, in uh, oil just yet. Yep, and that's it. That's pretty much all I need to do, just to give it a quick once-over and get it ready for cutting hay. Thanks for watching. Any questions about this? You think I missed anything, screwed anything up? Feel free to leave a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and have fun uh, making hay.